In this video, we're going to show you how to install the antenna cable on your Dodge Ram located in the passenger side front fender. Now we want to go ahead and use our floor jack. We want to go ahead and raise up the passenger side of the vehicle, but you want to make sure that you put the jack on the frame and not the control arm because we need to gain access to the inner wheel well. Raise up that passenger side wheel. Now if your vehicle has the fender flare attached to your fender, you want to go ahead and start by removing that. We're going to use 5 16 socket in our ratchet and remove the screws around the perimeter. fender flare and set it aside. Now on the inside of your fender liner here, there should be five pieces of hardware screws to remove. There should be one located right here. Up on the top, there's going to be one here, one closer to the fender lip up here, one right here, and then one forward mounted right here. Before you remove the fender liner, don't forget to remove your ABS wire harness right on the back side here. You can use a trim tool, simply go behind here. Go ahead and pop that off. Using your 5 16 socket and ratchet, go ahead, loosen and remove those. Good, do that for all five. At this point here, go ahead and just push that fender liner around pop that out and set it aside. We're gonna use our plastic trim tool and we wanna pull up the passenger side sill plate panel. So you're gonna put this between the carpet and the plastic and pull up. That's going to unlock these tabs. Continue up, popping this up and out. Pop that off and set that aside. Now if you follow this cable through right inside this foam insulation liner here, is what we want to gain access to. You just peel back this foam just a little bit and give a gentle tug down. You're going to disconnect that cable. Remove your antenna mast using a 3 8 wrench. Spin that off and set that aside. Now what you want to do is clean up around your base here. It's up to you if you want to do this here, but we're going to go ahead and put some tape around the paint just to protect us from marking up the paint or the finish. You can use any type of tape here. We're just using a basic painter's tape. do this to help protect it from slipping and scratching our finish.
Now on the top right here, there is a chrome ring that has three tabs. You wanna go ahead and use the appropriate tool to go ahead and lock onto that. And you're gonna spin that off and that's gonna unthread off of the antenna base. Slide off your trim here. Now at this point here, this piece should be able to be pulled down or worked down inside the fender. You can reach around underneath the fender lip here and grab that cable, work that down and out like so. I want to go ahead and feed this cable through right here. Now this rubber grommet is going to come out with the cable. We're going to go ahead and use our plastic trim tool. I'm going to go ahead and get between here and the rubber grommet and just kind of push that out. Boom. Just like that. Nice and easy. Once that's released, simply push that cable through from inside the vehicle and go ahead and pull that out. With this released, let's go ahead and pull the cable out the rest of the way through the wheel well. Right here, there's a slot in the foam. And just peel that back and pull that cable out. We want to go ahead and install our fender portion of the cable into the fender. Then we want to put our trim cover on and then go ahead and thread on the locking ring onto that. Go ahead and thread that down as far as you can by hand. And then go ahead and use your tool to go ahead and tighten up the upper locking collar and thread that down until the antenna base is snug and flush. Once you have your locking collar locked in here and that antenna base is nice and snug, you want to go ahead and remove this little center plug. Install your antenna base. Go ahead and thread that down. Go ahead and use your wrench. Snug this down. Now once that bottoms out, give it about another quarter turn. Give it a little wiggle, make sure everything is nice and tight. Let's now feed our cable through the slot in the foam. Push that through and it'll come out into the door jam and do that with the rubber grommet. Push it right on through. until pretty much all of that cable slack is gone. Take your cable end, feed it through the hole, straight through to the other side. Now once you feel the cable come through the little foam pad on the interior, continue to feed that through, pulling it through. You wanna go ahead and get that rubber grommet into the body. Go ahead and grab that cable and you're gonna push and pull at the same time, pull on that cable, and it'll seal that rubber grommet. Now you have the cable end here. Let's go ahead and reconnect that. I'm gonna take that cable and run it behind that harness here. Loop this back around, and I'm gonna reconnect this. Push it up and in. Make sure that it's seated fully. Wrap that foam back around it. Let's go ahead and install our kick panel and sill plate. Go ahead and install these metal tabs and our alignment pin. And just push directly in. Snap that in. Let's follow that procedure through the bottom of the sill plate. Let's go ahead and 
install your fender liner. Go ahead and install that lining behind the fender lip. Pull this up and around. And then we'll go ahead and start installing our screws. I'm going to go ahead and start installing these screws by hand, get them caught a few threads. Once those are in, you can go ahead and snug those down. Once those screws snug down, just give it a little bit more and then continue to the other four. Now that we have those in, let's go ahead and install our ABS wire. Here's your little ABS wire with that little button. Just pop that through. Now if you have your fender flare, go ahead and line that up. And then get these all started by hand. Once you have all of your screws installed, go ahead and snug them all down. Go ahead and lower the vehicle, remove the jack. If you use tape on the body to protect your paint, you can now go ahead and remove that. Once that tape is gone, you're all set. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.